Okay, still getting into the computer, catching up on some YouTube videos. Not hasn't been that long since I stopped eating. I'm gonna revise my initial first impression of this place. Not that it isn't a dungeon. Wait, film this way with the brick wall. Not that it isn't a dungeon. I heard some guys outside getting into a fight and one of them, I don't remember what he said and the other one was like, yeah, you wanna come back here and say it? So there was like a fight that broke out. I don't think it got physical. I think it was just like the talking phase of a fight. That's actually a little more reminiscent of Houston, this place I was at. At some point, when I get better video editing, I'll make a video where I do a slideshow of like my experiences in Texas. Um, and this place doesn't have the best lock on the door either, I just noticed. <laughs> Like, it's got that chain where you could use bolt cutters and just cut it if you really wanted to. Um, all the other hotels have had, like, a panel that pushes out to keep the door from being broken into. This just has that old-fashioned chain you could just cut with some bolt cutters. So, yeah, this is actually more reminiscent of Houston. That was really bad. My car got broken into. There's fights in the apartment. Like, it was bad. Um... Like, yeah, some guys had to hold each other back because they were, like, about to get physical in a fight right in the hallway, and I had to walk past them to get to my room. So, basically, I might have spoken too soon, saying it was reminding me of the Lakeway Bee Cave thing, where it was, like, worse than Austin. This actually might be as bad as Houston. We'll see. All right, another update from the brick wall, poorly lit dungeon I'm in. I did a little research, and this place that the lady told me about that's down the street, 4.2 stars, and it closes at 8. I'm not sure if the last load is going to be 6 or 7. There's higher rated places in Asheville, but of course that would be a half hour away unless traffic dies down. Those places close at 10. I really don't feel like rushing out to do laundry right now. I might rather just drive a half hour later. And the places in Asheville, I have a very strong suspicion, are going to be a lot better with people wearing masks in there. And I have a feeling the places out here, no one is... I'll probably be the only person in the building wearing a mask. Probably. If I went to the place out here. Haven't made up my mind where I'm going to go. This is like a really not good vibe hotel. Like the Mexican restaurant was pretty tasty and the lady at the front desk was really nice. But between hearing fights, like I can hear people like outside. F <sighs> yeah, this is like, this is like such a bad vibe place. I can't believe I keep going through these cycles of like good vibes and then bad vibes. And it seems like the good vibe cycles are much shorter than the bad vibe ones. Like one night in Asheville and then three here. I forgot it was three days or three nights. But it's like I'm spending more time in the shitty place than the good place. And that's what happened with Hill Country as well. Yeah, and I spent one night in the stockyard and then four nights in hot springs. Like, this always happens to me. I don't understand why. I wanted to take a nap after I did some stuff on the computer. There's only one job that was worth applying to. All the rest, I thought, like, yeah, I don't think I have a good chance at this. I don't think I have a good chance at that. And I just spent hours just deleting stuff I saved, which felt like a huge waste of time, honestly. So anyways... I showered up. Hopefully I'll feel a lot like fresher tomorrow, although I don't have much clean clothes. I really have to go to the laundromat. I came up with a plan that I will go to the one in Asheville. So I'm going to go hiking-ish in some botanical garden in the morning. And then when it's too damn hot to be outside, I'll go to the laundromat. And I don't think it'll be busy on a Saturday afternoon. So then... I gotta go to Walmart, get more deodorant, and get some 
hopefully collapsible laundry baskets. I tried these finally, the gourmet chips from downtown Asheville. Actually, I don't know if it's actually downtown, it's like the Arts and River District. And sorry for the poor lighting, I was not exaggerating when I said this place is like a poorly lit dungeon. It's a dungeon. They're all right. They taste fresher, like the flavors. Like the chips themselves I don't think have a better texture, but there's so much more like clean flavor. I don't know how to describe it. The flavor is what makes a big difference. Not impressed by the texture, it's the flavor. And this is the garlic and Italian herb. So, I might go to Walmart. I mean, I could go to Walmart tonight, probably. It's probably open till 10. Oh, no, it's probably too late. Yeah, I'm just not going to go anywhere tonight. Before I took my nap, I was just marveling at how stark the contrast is. Where, like, yesterday, I was in paradise. And then today, I'm, like, in this damn poorly lit dungeon where there's literally no ceiling lights. I mean... It's like not sufficient lighting. There's no privacy. Like I can hear everything right outside my room, which is honestly kind of creepy. So I just can't believe the contrast. It's like I went from paradise to a dungeon in like one day and I'm only like 30 minutes away. 30 minutes and like I went from paradise to dungeon. That always happens, too. Like, this is a pattern. So I was trying to meditate, like, why does this keep happening? Like, like if your body's in pain, it's telling you to move and to do something different. Like, you eat something, your stomach hurts, you don't eat it again. If you sit on the floor and your back hurts, you don't sit on the floor again. It's like this keeps happening over and over again, where I, I always end up in these bad places. And it's like, I don't know what to do to not end up in these bad places. And it always seems to have to do with money. Like, if I had, like, all the money in the world, no, I wouldn't go 30 minutes away from the city in some fucking dungeon. I don't know what I could do to stop this from happening. So I'm just kind of, like, bummed out. Because it's like, I was in paradise yesterday, and then I'm going to spend three nights in a dungeon. I don't, I don't remember three days, three nights, but, like, I don't get it. So, I guess I'm gonna just listen to more spiritual podcasts and play some video games, because since I woke up from my nap at 9.30, I'm obviously, like, not tired to go to bed anytime soon. So, I'm at the Walmart because they close at 11, not 10. The stupid Garmin thing sent me on the interstate twice. So I had to loop around on an interstate twice to get to a Walmart that's literally a block away because it gives you the world's shittiest directions. It's got one job, give you directions. It does a real shitty job. So anyways, Walmart. Get some deodorant, get some hopefully collapsible laundry baskets. Because laundry baskets break really easily when you pack your car full up of stuff. Which I know from 2019 and early 2020. So hopefully I could get what I need because it was way too much trouble just to get here. Thanks to the Garmin. And yeah crappy Walmart. They don't have the deodorant I use. So now I'm looking for the laundry baskets which I'm guessing is not by laundry detergent. Yeah, almost no. I mean, I think there's like a 10% to 20% mask wearing right here. So I think I'm a lot better off going to Asheville 
to do my laundry because I'm going to be stuck in the place for over an hour. I'm really good about avoiding places long term. Like I'll go in a store for like a couple minutes like this late at night. But doing laundry takes hours. I'd be better off in Asheville. They didn't have any that were collapsible and it was $9. I'm not happy. Hopefully there's a Walgreens that has a deodorant I use. This is socked. As soon as I go to the self-checkout, the guy closes and is like, only the other side of the store. So I'm literally walking across the side of the store to and from, to and from, and then I'm gonna have to do it again to get to my car. This is like really annoying. Okay, a little retrospection on that. I got like a hundred times clearer, more direct directions on my way back to the hotel from Walmart, which just confirms how completely terrible Garmin is. Um, so yeah, it sent me on an interstate and looped around twice and then took me through like these long winding roads in a crazy neighborhood to get to Walmart, but it was literally down the street in one turn. So on the way back, it was like down the street, one turn. Here I am at the hotel. On the way there, I had to take the interstate twice and then I went through a crazy neighborhood and it took forever and it was confusing as hell. This thing is fucking stupid. Okay, Garmin rants aside. Yeah, this place is such a bad vibe compared to Asheville. It's like I'm just beside myself with how drastically different it is. Like, one day later, I'm having the most amazing day in Asheville. And now I'm in, like, some armpit fucking dungeon with bad lighting hotel. And just some sh just I can't believe it like one day and 30 minutes away and it's like I got transported to a fucking hell like I just don't understand how this keeps happening to me yeah I mean it's like if I knew what I had to do or whatever I had to overcome like I would do it but like I have no clarity on anything <sighs> So yeah, like, given how it was at the Walmart, no fucking way do I want to spend an hour at a laundromat around here. Because there's about a 100% chance it's going to just be like 10 times less safe than the same exact task being done in Asheville. Not to say that Asheville was great. I mean, the Publix had a lot of people with no mask on. And it's like, we have a 30% vaccination rate or something not a 70 percent so like clearly you're being subjected to like tons of people who are you know spreading stuff but i have to do my laundry i think the odds are better in Asheville. at least it's like a better vibe if nothing else oh my god i have to spend three days here in this dungeon